G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be giving you a rapid review on how finals week two went, not only for all four teams, but for myself as well, how I did it with my tips. And then I will be giving you my finals week three predictions. Very excited to do this, so let's jump in. So for finals week two, I went two from two. Uh, the first game, I backed Storm to beat the Roosters. I thought it would be a relatively close game. I think I might have said two points. I can't remember. Uh, but Storm got the job done there by five. Tyron Wishart, uh, Marion Seve, and Will Warbrick were the try scorers for the Storm. Brandon Smith and Lindsay Collins, the try scorers for the Roosters. If you did pick uh, some of these players, credit to you because I only got one, and that was Willie Warbrick. So, yeah, look, then... I thought I thought this was a cracker game. I really did. Like I, I don't think it, there was too many errors in it. Uh, I, I, I am going to look into that though. Uh, no, so you know, 80% completion rate for the Storm, 75% for the Roosters, 80% for Storm. That's pretty good. Like that's not bad. Roosters probably should have been a little bit better, but all in all, I thought it was quite a good game. Uh, Sam Walker kicking the field goal at the 71st minute. That. I thought that was it. I thought that, that he'd won the game there because it was just so close. Nobody can break through the line. Like, we only saw three tries uh, come in the th first 33 minutes. A few came late in the game. But, yeah, I thought when Sam, Sam Walker kicked that, I thought, <laughs> credit to the Roosters. They've moved on. And then with, like, a minute and a half to go or something like that, um, Cam Munster kicks the ball over to Will Warbrick. And he just, he still had a lot of work to do. He grabbed that ball off. I believe it was um, Ponga, and he he put it down. He got the win, so shout out to him. Got the dub there for the Storm. I thought, Nick, for me, Nick Meany was my man of the match. I thought he was fantastic in this game. I know a lot of people said uh, Ken Munster, mainly because he had the game winner there, but I thought Nick Meany deserved man of the match. Just my personal opinion. All right, next up, we saw the Warriors take on the Knights over there in New Zealand, and wow. What a game for the Warriors. They scored three tries in the first 11 minutes. They looked red hot at the start there. I thought they were going to absolutely kill the Knights early on. I thought it was going to be like 30 nil at halftime. Uh, but to the Knights' credit, they did make a little bit of a comeback there, getting the game back to 16-10. But then it was all over after that. Dylan Walker scored. Rocco Berry scored. DWZ scored. And Bailey Sirenen scored late in the game as well. Uh, Marcelo Montoya, Adam Fanul Black, and CNK all scoring first half tries. And then for the Knights, Greg Marzu and Dylan Lucas scored. Uh, look, not too much to talk about in this game. I thought the Warriors were outstanding. Uh, they completed at 82%, 39 from 47 sets. The Knights just didn't get enough of the ball, 29 from 37 sets, and completed relatively good at 78%. But look, 56% of the possession went to the Warriors, and just with that home crowd, you know, cheering them on. That that was the difference, in my opinion. Huge win there for the Warriors, and they move on to play the Broncos in the first week of finals. Uh, sorry, the third week of finals. My head's gone. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, look, credit to the Warriors. Came out, did the job they needed to. Another tick for me. We get two from two in week two of the finals. I definitely thought this one would be like a two to six point margin. Was not expecting a 30 point win. But credit to the Warriors at a sold out uh, Mount Smart Stadium. We're not saying go me media. I disagree with that. But we move on. We are now going through week three. Far out. Week three of the finals. The preliminary finals, as they are also referred to, we've got the Penrith Panthers against the Melbourne Storm. That is the first game of the weekend. And it is going to be a cracker, in my opinion. Now, realistically, on paper, it looks like the Penrith Panthers should get this done well and relatively easy. Jerome Luai is set to be back in this game, which is a huge boost for the Panthers, and their back line is pretty much back to full strength as well. Uh, for the Storm, I think the only real injury clear there, other than obviously Ryan Pappenhausen, is going to be uh, Jerome Hughes, which if he is out, that is a massive loss, and I do think Penrith Panthers get a really good win if that is the case. But head-to-head, uh, -head, the Storm are actually <laughs> far and away a better side. Like, um, they've played 
Oh, sorry, they've won 29 games against the Panthers, and Panthers have only won 14 against the Storm. So that's that's pretty insane. Uh, Melbourne have played 27 games at a core stadium and won 18 of those games. Panthers have played 41 and have only won 20 of those games. So Storm do have a higher win percentage at a core stadium. Um, Panthers have won six of their last 10 against Melbourne, though, and they won both of their encounters this year against Melbourne Storm. Look, if I'm being honest, I do think Panthers win this one quite comfortably. I am going to say, I'm going to say a 12-point margin. I'm, I'm going on the verge of a 13+, plus, but I'm going to say on the higher end of a 1-12 to 12 margin. So I'm going to say 12 points. Uh, so Panthers by 12 for me. And anytime try scorers, if you are going to have a punt, guys, please make sure you do it responsibly. Uh, my anytime try scorers, I've got Harry Grant. He tends to score tries uh, fairly prolifically and fairly well against the uh, Penrith Panthers. So Harry Grant is one of my try scorers. And the other one is Brian Tao. Look, it doesn't matter who they're up against. Brian Tao normally scores a try. So I think those two for anytime try scorers are just too juicy to pass up. All right, the second game of the weekend. This one will be played on Saturday night. It is the Brisbane Broncos against the New Zealand Warriors, aka, AKA the Waz. Everybody's on the Warriors bandwagon if your team is out of finals. And I'm super pumped for this game. Right, head to head, it is actually very close uh, between these two sides. So the Broncos have won 21 games. Warriors have won 20. I believe they've had one draw. Yes, they have. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Warriors have only won six games from 21 played at Suncorp Stadium, though, which is not a good start, whereas the Broncos are quite quite the uh, t- the team to beat at Suncorp Stadium. They've won a hell of a lot more than that. Uh, Broncos have won four of their past 10 games against the Warriors. However, they've also drawn once in their last 10. So Warriors have won five games in their last 10 against the Broncos. So they've got a little bit of uh, leeway there. But uh, Broncos did also defeat the Warriors in round 13 by four points. (sighs) Look, this is a game I would love to say, let's go the Waz. I hope the Waz win. I just can't see a world where that happens. I do think the Broncos uh, will be tested by the Warriors, especially a relatively full-strength Warriors side. I do think they will be tested. I do not think that this will be a one-sided affair by any means. I think the Broncos will definitely be tested by the Warriors. I think Sean Johnson is just... He he is going to want to make sure the Warriors go out with a bang, whether that be winning this game or at least competing in it. I uh, I think the Warriors would be proud if they could compete in this game and not get blown out. I really do. So, look, I am tipping the Broncos. I'm going to say Broncos by eight. I think it'll be a relatively close game, but I do think the Broncos will control the majority of it. As much as I'd love to see the Warriors win, Broncos 1-12 to for me. My anytime try score is in this one. I'm going Ezra Mam. He scored a couple of tries, I think, or he's at least scored one this year against the Warriors, so I think he will score uh, once again against them. And then my other pick is Marcelo Montoya. I think in the last three games that the Broncos have played the Warriors, he's scored in at least two of those games. So he doesn't mind a meat pie against the Broncos. And I think that will continue and he will score there. But guys, let me know who you're backing this weekend. Drop it down in the comments. Also guys, if you could leave a thumbs up and hit that sub button, the uh, support on my finals tipping videos has been enormous so thank you so much for that Uh, we're aiming for 5k subs by the end of the year and we are so close to that so if you could hit that sub button guys that'd be the absolute world to me but thank you all so much once again and as always my friends i will see you in the next one thanks guys